Hey everybody, it's John, Lake Erie Chestnuts, working on coming up with some fence pieces. We're working on coming up with about 12 inch diameter fencing. This is going to be to protect our trees. Now I've talked about the most economical way, which I believe is tree tubes, but they have their own problems. But you can force that upward growth with the tubes, and if you live in a hot high deer density area, I think that's probably your best bet, uh, but deer will still lift them up. They don't like messing with the fence near as much. They don't like that on their antlers, but plastic doesn't bother them. And it costs more, but you can use either a rebar stake or pine stake, and this in conjunction with a tree tube, or once the tree gets forced up, you can use this, and this can be very protective. We're going to use these on our apple trees, some of our newer chestnut trees. Only four foot tall, it's two inch by four inch. A roll of a hundred foot at Tractor Supply, my area. Said it was 99 bucks, but when I got there it was 95 bucks. Uh, using just a simple pair of pliers with a wire cutter, it actually works pretty good. And uh, basically, I'll show you. I'm counting 18 squares. That gives me about just over 36 inches. And then I cut long. And that's what I'll use to wrap around. So that's what I'm working on right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Just past that. Working on this now, we have a decent weather day, but I don't have enough. It's not quite time when I to plant. The ground's still very, very soggy from the recent snow melt. So I don't really want to plant bare roots yet. And so while I'm close to home, I don't have to drive all the way to the property. I can cut a group of these and have them ready to go when the time comes. So I'm just putting these in a kind of a half circle here to make them easier to travel. I can bring much more of them than if I complete the circle. So that's what I'm working on. I figure, you know, three, three foot length, we're going to get 33 of them in a hundred foot roll. And then I'll do a couple bigger circles for a couple of the apple trees or the pine trees just to give them a little room to grow. Well, I got about 30 of these cut up. I'm gonna put them in the truck and I'll take these out to the farm and have them ready. Declutter my own garage and have them in the barn ready to go for when it comes time to put out the apple trees, put out some chestnut trees and some persimmons. So toss these into the truck. Then we'll take some potting mix down to the basement. We've got a bunch of persimmons sprouting. And uh, I'm going to let this sit down there for a day or so. Get caught up to room temperature. That's what's going on in my neck of the woods. It's going to be headed south. I'm going to try my hand at some turkey hunting in South Carolina with my twin brother. So hopefully we'll have some spring weather and maybe even a turkey hunt or two coming up in the next week or two. Remember, if you're not growing, you're dying. Thanks for watching.